Good morning, class. Hello, good morning. Good evening, teacher. Oh, good evening, good. Good evening. <laughs> good evening. Good evening, good morning, or good night. Good night. Good night. Good evening. Not yet, good evening. not yet. Good evening, very good. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. All right, is, is it raining in this moment in, in near your house? Yes. No? Yes. Good yes? evening, teacher. Good evening, hi. It's not uh, raining here. It's not? <clears throat> it's not in my raining. house, yes. Uh, where do you in live? Santa here? Ana is raining. Yeah, I hear in Santa Ana is it's raining really hard right now. Are you in Santa Ana? No, no, no. But my previous class, I had a student, and um, he could not listen to the class because it was raining very hard. Oh, yeah. This very, is, this, yes. Uh, there was a reason that we couldn't enter your meeting. <laughs> Oh, yeah, there was, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, there is an expression in English. Um, it is raining cats and dogs. Ah, uh, it's raining cats and dogs. It's a similar expression. I guess in Spanish it would be a cántaros, right? Cántaros. Oh, está lloviendo sapos, sapos. He oído sapos también. Está lloviendo ranas y sapos. Yeah. Yeah, in English you say it's raining cats and dogs. Okay. So how how are you? How was your vacation? Uh, my vacation was great because I was here in my home, be safe, and Good. but I didn't get the illness yet. And I cooked for my family. I did my duties at home as every day. No more. <laughs> I watched some movies, oh, yeah, but great. I forgot to watch your movie. That the movie that you mentioned before that we need to watch. Uh, and I forgot the name. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. I mentioned, I think I mentioned to you Big, uh, Toy Story. No, Toy Story, yeah. No, another movie that you used to watch, uh, Glor Har Har I don't know what is the name. Okay. <laughs> and I I'm trying to remember. Here. Oh yeah, you wrote it? What movie? I wrote here the name, but okay. I didn't find <laughs> um, the movie that you mentioned before is um, um, when I find I okay. <laughs> tell you. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you. Laura Hernandez, how are you? Hello, good evening. Are you in your house or in your office or in your home office? In my home office. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Sound great. Um, Laura Hernandez, do you live in like California? No. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, yes. I passed many times by, um, by La California last week because my father lives in La Bello San Juan. So okay. I frequently, it's like next to your very close it's very close yeah yes all right so how was your vacation did somebody do something different besides the stay home please don't tell me somebody went to the beach <laughs> um, i go to the, the beach. <laughs> oh no why but, but, but not exactly the beach i rent a house in uh, in Libertad. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, only go when well, only went with my close friends. Oh, okay. Uh, hey, I'm in. I'm interested. It was the house good. It was nice. Yes, it's really really nice. Mm. Oh. It's not very. It's it's cheap. It's cheap. Okay. Because Maybe maybe you can give me information after class. Ah uh, yes, uh, please. I remember I for I lost your phone number. <laughs> I 
I don't oh. remember what I know. For that reason, I don't, I don't um, invite or I don't, ap yeah. I don't be a part in the group in WhatsApp, WhatsApp group. Yeah. Okay. Do you see? Do you see my phone number right now? Okay. In the yeah. chat. Okay. I will take. Oh yes. All right. Good. Uh, yeah. Send me okay. some information because I I am interested in in renting a, a house in the beach. It is very close. Important information is a is it is in a county. Okay. Uh, the beach. It, this, this is not very close. Can only have <clears throat> only have uh, a pool, but for for in my case, I I think it's it's the um, yeah, it's, it's enough. enough. It's enough. Okay. Yeah. Good. Interesting. Nice. For All, right. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. All right. Um, somebody else do something different. Uh, me. What did you do, Rafael? Uh, I was I was um, work in construction in my house in vacation. Oh, okay. What What were you making, or were you repairing, uh, or were you making? Uh, repairing, repairing. And what? Uh, what? Some walls and floor. Oh, okay. Okay, hey, good, good for you. All right. What about you, Natalie? How are you? Okay, maybe Natalie's not there. Brenda, how are you? Fine, teacher. Okay, it's raining in your house, Brenda? In this moment, no. Oh, okay. How was your vacation? Uh, work and stay at home. Work. You worked. You worked the five days. Um, um, yes. Wow. Okay. All right. Okay. So, um, for me, I did nothing. Or well, maybe, maybe you can recommend to me some good TV shows because. I finished all the shows in Netflix. <laughs> so, Have you ever seen uh, History Level 1? History what? Historia, Historia Nivel 1 se llama. No. It's a short um, chapter. I'm talking about the the History um, uh, of the world. Yeah. Oh yes, world. yes, I have seen and, that. I have seen that. It's very good. Have you seen the coronavirus explained? No sé si oh, dije que I, it's really good. Yeah. I didn't find. Oh, well, I don't look for very good. I think. <laughs> you didn't like it. I don't. I I don't. Looking for. Oh, okay. I recommend I you watch. Have... Así se llama. Coronavirus explicado, explained. Okay. It's good. La cólera y miedo. Y alivio. Okay. Everything. All right. Okay. Do you remember what we were doing before we left on vacation? Frequently other? No. Yes, we were practicing the frequency adverbs. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yes. We have from never to always, and in the middle we have sometimes. Yes? Yeah. I want to practice today if we can ask two or three questions, like a little conversation, okay? A little conversation, but we're going to practice with third person, he and she. So here we're going to practice everything, listening and asking and answering questions. 
Okay, but for example, I'm going to start with Yesenia. I'm going to ask Yesenia three questions. Okay. No, it's okay. I'm going to ask Yesenia three questions. So please remember the questions because after I'm going to ask you. Okay, Yesenia, where where do you live? I live in Ayutuxtepeque. Okay, Ayutuxtepeque is near Sacamil, no? Yes, Mexicanos, Mexicanos. near Sacamil. Hey, what happened with the Yucodromo? They still exist? Mm. <laughs> I am being honest, I don't know what is the hydro. What is the name? Because Mexicanos is, is famous for yuca, right? Ah, yeah, and yeah. I, but yes, I know, but I never go there because in Mexicano I need to take two buses for go there. Oh, okay, okay. So you live in Ayutuxtepeque? Yeah. And now, how often do you come to San Salvador? Um, but um, occasionally, I go two or three times during the pandemic. Okay, but listen to my question because I understand. But now you can say actually, uh, because actually. because we understand the situation. So my question is, how often do you come to San Salvador? So you can say, actually, I seldom or I rarely go to San Salvador because of the pandemic. Ah, okay. Okay. Actually. So, so let's start one more time, okay? Um, so what is your name? My name is Yesenia. Yesenia, where do you live? I live in Ayutuxtepeque. Oh, Ayutuxtepeque. And how often do you come to San Salvador? Actually, I don't go to uh, San Salvador for because for the pandemic. For the pandemic, the, okay. The situation is very hard. Okay, okay, good. Patty Amaya, are you there? Yes, teacher, sorry. Okay. No, it's okay. Where does she live? I live in Lourdes, La Libertad. Okay, where does Yesenia live? Um, Yesenia lives in Ayutustepeque. Okay. And how often does she come to San Salvador? Actually, she never go to San Salvador for the pandemic. Okay, I'm sorry, but okay, she, Patty, where do you live? I live in Lourdes. Oh, okay, okay. Right. buen punto. Listen to this. Yo estoy diciendo come porque yo vivo en San Salvador. Entonces digo, how often does she come to San Salvador? Ah, uh, okay. No, 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 but it's good. No, me gustó lo que usted dijo, porque usted dijo, she never goes to San Salvador. Usted lo dijo bien, porque usted no está en San Salvador. Y nunca va. Uh -huh. Ella nunca va a San Salvador. Si estuviera en yes. San Salvador, usted, Pati, tendría que decir, ella nunca viene. Yes, she never comes. She never comes. Very good. Good, Pati. Okay. All right, Pati. I'm going to ask you now. Yes. You, it's okay if you want to invent, no problem. Okay. Are you married? No, I am not married. Do you I have a not. Do you have a boyfriend? Yes, I have a boyfriend. Where does he live? He lives uh, near to my house. <laughs> oh, he lives near near to, near your house. Oh, yeah. great. So, how often do you see your boyfriend? Um, three or four times a week. So, I frequently see my boyfriend. Okay, I frequently see my boyfriend. Oh, very good. All right, nice. Juan. Juan Hernandez, are you there? <laughs> Hello, teacher. Good Hello. evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, everyone. Hi. Did you listen to my conversation with Pat, with Patty Juan? Mm, yeah, I, I heard. Where, where does she live? I live in in Lourdes, Nuevo Lourdes. 
No, but listen to my question. Where does she live? She, Patty. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, she live in in Lourdes or on Lourdes? She lives in Lourdes. In, right. <laughs> she lives in Lourdes. Okay. All right. I, the, I'm sorry. Me too. Me too. Live in Lourdes. Okay. Oh, you live in Lourdes, but you're not the boyfriend, are you? No. <laughs> no. What? no. What? Okay. No. No. Forget it. Forget it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> does Patty have a boyfriend? Yeah. Yes. She have. She have boyfriend. Yes, she has have, a boyfriend. Has or have? Yes, she has a boyfriend. Uh, yeah, she, she has a boyfriend. Okay, and how often does she see her boyfriend? Well, um, she see frequently. Okay, she frequently sees her boyfriend. Lo ve, ¿cómo dijo? No entendí. She cuando, said, cuando, she cada, said, cada cuánto lo veía, no entendí. Uh, four times a week, I think, but that's frequently. Ah, uh, yeah, four times a week. She oh. sees four times a week. Ow, I hit my head. What happened? I hit my head in this stupid thing. Parano <laughs> it's a paranoic. How do you say that? Paranoic. No, algo cuando suceden cosas. ¿Qué dicen? Paranormal. Ah, paranormal. No, no. <laughs> I actually, I did this. I went back and I hit my head. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, I, I have an extra room in my house. Mm -hmm which is like my personal room and it's my way. It's like no flowers. Uh. <laughs> no, I have um, Van Gogh, Picasso, devils. Masculine mm -hmm. things. <laughs> Artistic, yeah. Pictures I take, yeah. <laughs> Very good. Um, Helen, are you there? Hello. Hi, Helen. Hi, Helen, where do you live? I live in Lourdes. <laughs> you live in Lourdes too? Why? Lourdes uh, too. <laughs> yeah. and wh where do you work? I work in Tigo. Okay. And, but Tigo in, it, Tigo is in, um, it's not in Lourdes, it's in, um, where is Tigo? No, Tigo is in Tuscania. In Tuscania. Okay, yeah. so you, you tr but in this moment, you, you, you work in your house, correct? Yes, uh, in this moment, I am tele, teleworking. <laughs> oh, okay. You, yeah, you are home office. So, um, how yeah. often, how often do you come to San Salvador? Um, I go to San Salvador uh, once, uh, one time in the month. Okay, so yes. in, with using adverbs, so you seldom come to San Salvador. Seldom. I forget it. what the meaning of seldom. What is the meaning of seldom? What is more frequent? Sometimes or seldom? Sometimes, check, let me check, let me check. More frequent. Yeah. Frequency. Yeah, remember after never, what is next? Rarely. And seldom. Seldom. Seldom, yes. Seldom. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so how often yes. do you how often do you come to San Salvador? Um, I I seldom. <laughs> yes. Okay, good. I seldom okay. go. Go to San Salvador. Uh, I go to only uh, only when I I need the pick pick up. Uh, I don't I don't know how to say. Uh, ir a la farmacia de Liz. <laughs> Okay. Uh, only, medicina. Yeah, only when I when I need to go to the um, East yes. East Hospital. I, in the hospital, yes. All right. Okay, Carolina, are you there? Okay, Marcelo, are you there? Yes, teacher. Hi, Marcela. Where Hi. Does Helen live? In San Miguel? No, she doesn't. She lives in Lourdes. Okay. Where does she work? She works at Tigo. In Tigo. Ah, in Tigo. Good, no problem. And um, how often does she come to San Salvador? She seldom goes to San Salvador. Okay. Good. Excellent. All right. Very good, so no problem. Here you, we're practicing first and third person. So what I'm going to do right now, please write three questions similar to my questions to you. Okay, um, and then you're going to ask. Pero vamos a hacer otra que quitemos, how often do you come? Let's, let's vary, okay? My, um, ejemplo, Brian, are you there? Brian? Yeah. Hola. <laughs> oh, hi, Brian. Hi. Brian, what is your favorite food? My favorite food is chow mein. Chow mein. Oh, good. And, and pizza. <laughs> and how often do you eat chow mein? And pizza. Okay. How often do you eat chow mein? Um, um, okay. Sometimes. I sometimes what? Yeah. No, answer complete. I need you to answer complete. I sometimes eat chow mein. <laughs> okay, no problem. No problem, Brian. Quizás va a llover donde usted. Está ahí. Creo que está. Ajá, porque está lloviendo. Pero no sé, creo que son mis audífonos también. Tienen falso. No, okay, no problem. I hit my head again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, no, no problem. Patty Amaya, are you there? Yes, teacher. How are you, Patty? I'm good. How how are you? I'm good, teacher. Okay. Patty, are you married? No, I am not married. Do you have a boyfriend? Yes, I have a boyfriend. Where does your boyfriend live? My boyfriend lives uh, in Lourdes. Okay, and where do you live? I live in Lourdes. Man, everybody's from Lourdes here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm sorry, yes, you see him four days a week, right? <laughs> yes. Es que me cambian los nombres cuando alguien sale y entra, me cambia la, la orden de fotos. Oh, sorry. Really? Yeah, no, it's no problem. Entonces me olvidó que le había preguntado. Sorry. Okay. okay. Ah, Adriana, ahí está Adriana. Hi, Adriana. Hi, teacher. How are you? 
Um, very well. Okay. Adriana, where do you live? I live in Santa Tecla. In Santa Tecla. How often do you go to the supermarket yes. in Santa Tecla? Um, supermarket. Uh, uh, perdón, repeat. <laughs> no, it's okay. How often do you go to the supermarket in Santa Tecla? Um, weekend. Okay, but remember, when I say how often, it's a frequency. It's not when. When I like you say, if I ask when do you go to the supermarket? Oh, I go Saturdays. But when I say how often, you is expressing a frequency. So I frequently go. I sometimes go. Okay, this is how how often um, um, Saturday. No. So Saturday is frequently, no? I frequently go to the supermarket. Okay. Que usualmente voy los sábados. ¿Cómo sería? Eh, o oh no, no le entendí la pregunta. Usted me está preguntando que... que... Uh -huh. ahí, ahí vamos bien. ¿Qué le estoy preguntando? ¿Qué tanto voy al supermercado? No. O... ¿Con qué frecuencia no. va? ¿Con, ¿Con qué, qué frecuencia voy al supermercado? Eso es how often, ¿no? Entonces, usted puede responder con una palabra que exprese la frecuencia, no necesariamente el día, porque ahí sería si le preguntara okay. cuándo va. Ok. Entonces sería... I frequently go. Usually. I usually go. I frequently. I don't know. Usually or frequently. I usually go. Okay, I usually go to the supermarket. To the supermarket. Okay, good. Um, Na Natalie, are you there? Natalie Osorio. Yes, teacher. Hi, Natalie. Where does Where does Adriana live? And she lives in Santa Tecla. Okay, and how often does she go to the supermarket? I I don't. Mm. You don't remember? No, teacher. I don't no. remember. It's okay. <laughs> how often, class? Who can help Natalie? Yes, teacher. Sorry. No, no. Can I ayuda Natalie? She usually goes to the supermarket. She usually goes to the supermarket. Okay, here's a question for the class. How often do you go to church? Um, I, I usually um, two, no, twice, uh, twice a week. You go to church? Yes. In this time? Uh, no, no, is in 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 online oh really oh yes there's church online yes oh yeah it's true huh? okay <laughs> okay i never go to church <laughs> yes <laughs> normal or no normal <laughs> okay lo que vamos a hacer ahorita lo voy a poner en grupos y ustedes van a preguntarse okay um, Lo voy a poner ahorita okay. en grupos y ya voy a ir con, hablando con cada grupo. Ok, hold on. Thank you. 
Sorry, me regresó. Pero ya van a volver todo otra vez. Se fueron. <ríe> ya van a regresar todos, pero. Quince, catorce, trece, doce. Ya va. Diez segundos va a terminar todo. What happened, teacher? Me regresó. I'm sorry. Ya, ya lo voy a volver a poner. Okay. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. Everybody's back now, I think. Okay. Sorry, class. I don't know what happened. Um, I voy otra vez. Okay, is everybody back? Yes. Yes. Okay. We can Hi. practice now. Hi. Okay. Hi. Hello. Hi, okay, teacher. Byron. I have Byron, uh, Delmi, Lisseth, and Helen here, correct? Yes. yes. Okay, so Byron, please. Okay, el, el tema is. Um, el tema is frequency adverbs, right? Okay. Okay. So, Byron, please ask Delmi two questions. The frequency okay. adverbs. Okay. And when uh, you finish, pregúntele a Helen y a Lizeth las preguntas que le hizo Delmi acerca de Delmi. Yes? Uh, y okay. después Delmi, usted le hace dos preguntas a Lizeth y a Helen. Y después él pregunta en tercera persona. Todas con how often. How often. Okay. Yes? Okay, for okay. example, Biden. How often do you eat out? To Delmi, right? I'm sorry. How yes. tell me how often do you eat out? Do you eat what? Out. Uh, mm -hmm. yes. Out. Oh, okay. Uh, out. I usually go. No, I usually go to eat out. Okay, you can say, I usually eat out. Okay. I usually eat out. Okay. 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 What? Two questions. Uh, how often do you work out? Work. Work out, yeah. How often do you work out? Work or, mm -hmm. or maybe how often do you exercise? Okay. It, it is similar, teacher. No, it's the same. It's the same. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I frequently um, work out. Okay. Good. I understand the point. Okay. Very good. Myron, please ask Lisette and Helen about Delmi. The same question, but now in third person. Okay. Okay. Y después Delmi usted hace la pregunta. Después Lisa, después Okay. Help. Ya regreso. Okay. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi, Carla. Thank you for answering. Carla, Herbert, Marcella, and Natalie, right? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, I only have two people, Marcela and Natalie. Are you there? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, good. This is what we're going to do right now. Since Herbert 
is the only man in the group. Good for you, Herbert. <laughs> um, Natalie, please ask Herbert two questions in frequency. Yes, okay. the answer is has to be in frequency. Like I never, I always. When you finish the question, for example, si usted dijo, Herbert, how often do you eat sushi? I never eat sushi. Good. And Herbert, how often do you visit your family? I frequently visit my family. Good. Ahí son las dos preguntas. Hoy le pregunta a Carly Marcelo. Okay, Carla, how often does Herbert visit his family? Marcela, how often does Herbert eat sushi? Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Natalie? Yes, teacher. Okay. Entonces, le puede preguntar a Herbert las dos preguntas. Okay. Uh, Pero... Y después todos te preguntan two questions. So, el objetivo aquí es preguntar uh, how often do you, how often does he, how often do you, how often does she. Okay? Thank you. Okay. Hello. Antes. How often did you go to the bar? Oh, good. You started. Yes. Um. Um, usually, usually right. in the park. Yes. I usually go to the park. Yes. I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? Okay, so we want to practice first and third person here. Yes, how often do you, how often does he, how often does she? Okay, okay, so for example, Rosalba, can you please ask Laura? Well, Rosalba, you know what? Ask me, okay. mm -hmm. ask me three questions with how often. Okay. Uh, how often do you eat fruit? <laughs> I no, I always eat fruit. I like bananas okay. and oranges. Orange. Yeah. Okay, question okay. number two. How, how often um, do you... Uh, How often do you go out to work? <laughs> I never go out to walk. <laughs> okay. How often go to gym? Do you go to the gym? Okay. So how often do you? <laughs> no, no, repeat the question. How often? Okay. How often go to the gym? It's not correct. That's how often okay. do you go? How often go to go? La primera dos me la dijo bien. How often do you eat fruit? How often do you walk? How often do you go to the gym? Rosalba, please repeat. How often? How often do you go to the gym? Good. Okay. I never go to the gym. Pandemia. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Now ask Laura, Brian, and um, Adriana my questions, but how often does he?
Las mismas preguntas, pero hoy no me las va a hacer a mí, sino que le va a preguntar a Laura acerca de las preguntas que me hizo a mí. Es que ya las ah. hicimos. Yo, yo se las voy a hacer de nuevo. Ah. Ok. No, le pregunto. Yes. Ah, ok. Uh, Laura. Yes. How often do you go to the gym? No. Uh, it's about the teacher. It's, it's about me. Okay, Rosalba, you ask me, correct? Correct. Okay, good. Now, ask Laura about me. Okay. Laura, eh... Pero ¿cómo, ¿cómo tendría que preguntarle? Lo único que va a cambiar es does he. Uh -huh. Does he. Ok. Laura, does he. Ok, it's ok, it's ok, Rosalba, no problem. Just listen, listen, it's no problem. Hago una cosa, Laura. Laura, okay. ask me three questions, please. Ok. Uh, how often? Do you drink Coke? I seldom drink Coke. Okay. Um, how often do you watch a movie? Oh, I always watch movies. And how often do you um, listen to music? Listen to music. Listen to music. I, I frequently listen to music. Okay, good. Three questions, yes? Now yes. please ask Brian, Adriana, and Rosalba. Okay. Brian, how often does he Drink a Coke. Drink? Coke. Coke. Drink Coke. Okay. I drink a Coke. Brian, please listen to the question. Repeat, Laura. How often does he drink Coke? I okay, 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 wait, wait. Please, el problema es que si ustedes no me dicen, se los pido, pero si no me dicen que no entienden, yo supongo que entienden. Dígame, hey, I don't understand, teacher. It's okay, es lógico. Okay, lo que estamos practicando aquí es primera y tercera persona. Ya, Laura me hizo tres preguntas directas a mí. Y hoy va a ser las mismas preguntas a ustedes de lo que me preguntó a mí. Laura me preguntó, how often do you drink Coke? How often do you watch movies? How often do you, um, uh, do you listen to music? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Y yo di unas respuestas. Y hoy le va a ser la misma a ustedes. Aquí tenía que practicar su, recordarse lo que yo dije. Entonces hoy lo que Laura iba a hacer era, ah, lo salva. How often does he listen to music? Adriana, how often does he drink Coke? Brian, how often does he watch movies? Eso era. How often do you, how often does he? Estar practicando primera y tercera persona. Yes? Yes. Yeah, okay, Brian. Entonces ella te está preguntando, how often does he? Ajá, o sea, ¿con qué frecuencia usted? Sí. Ajá, sí, pero yeah. tú estabas contestando oh. I drink como que si me lo estaba preguntando para mí ajá ah. entonces eso, eso es la idea de este pero ejercicio en es, ajá, pero lo que no tengo ¿Para? entendido es cómo se respondería de esa forma o sea, ¿qué respondió? 
cuando ella, me cuando ella me hizo esa pregunta a mí, ¿te recuerdas lo que yo respondí? No. Es que ese era el objetivo de que seldom. tenía, ajá, yo dije seldom. Seldom. Ok, mira, Brian. Escucha, please. Rosalba. Hi, Hi, Rosalba. Rosalba, how often do you eat pizza? Uh, I usually eat weekends, eat no. pizza. No, no me digan weekend, Saturday, no. Solo el objetivo es always, never, sometimes, usually. Okay. Yeah? I usually so, Eat pizza. Eat pizza. Very good. So one more time. Rosalba, how often do you eat pizza? I usually eat pizza. Good. ¿Escuchaste lo que dijo, Brian? Sí. Yeah. Okay. Now, how often does she eat pizza? She eats often. Do you usually? She usually eats pizza. She usually eats eat pizza. Okay, repeat. She usually eats pizza. She usually eats pizza. Exactly. Very good. Laura, how often do you see your... Do you have a boyfriend? No. Oh. Thanks, God. <laughs> how often do you visit your family? Um... Yeah. Mm, I seldom visit my family. Okay. Adriana, how often does she visit her family? She's usually No, dijo seldom. Seldom. Yeah. Solo, 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 eh, solo son tres pasos. Pronombre, la palabra y el complement. She seldom visits her family. Yes, hay que practicar listening, the listening, listening. Porque, como en cualquier idioma, si ustedes no escucharon bien, créanme que no van a responder bien. Ya. Yeah. No, no, no había entendido yo que si se te decía, o sea, la frecuencia, o sea. O sea, era she usually y pisa, o sea. Sobre el pronombre, la frecuencia y el complemento. Ya. Yeah. Entonces eso no tenía entendido. Entonces me había perdido. Eh, eh, Brian, pero estuviste en nuestras clases antes de la semana pasada. Sí, pero como okay. me está fallando un poco esta cosa. Ok, no, no, bueno, okay está bien. Entiendo perfectamente. Pero el problema es que nunca me dijiste, Brian. Entonces uno asume que pensé que entendías. Pero es ok. Siempre pregúntenme. No tengan pena. Por favor, por favor, por favor. Pregúntenme. Um, ya, yeah, es frecuencia. La frecuencia siempre va entre el pronombre y el verbo. I never eat. I always eat. I frequently eat. Y el complement. Pizza, lasaña. ¿Ok? Ok. Y I recommend the lesson. Hmm? I, I recommend the, uh, uh, do, uh, do the lesson. Yes, it's do the lesson. We need More. to practice this. Yeah. I'm going I'm going to return to the to the class. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. okay no problem, no problem. Do you see my fingers? Hello, class. Do you see me? Hi, teacher. Hi, Hi. teacher. We come Hi, back teacher. again. Okay, good. Okay. Um, uh, teach, teacher, yeah. mm -hmm. we have a question. Yes, how do please. You say, how do you say yuca, pastelitos, um, fry, que dijimos? Tortas. Ah, tortas. 
Ok, mire, muy buena pregunta. Le voy a decir una cosa. El inglés, el inglés respeta mucho, al contrario del español. Oh, God, ya me dio otra vez. Voy a cambiar de lugar mañana. <risa> mire, teacher. Yes. How often, how do you say golpear? <risa> Good. Hit. <risa> Hit. Hit. How often uh, eats hell? How do you? Hey. <laughs> I, I, I frequently hit my head. <laughs> oh, boys. Very good. I like that. Por eso me golpeaba. Estaba esperando que alguien me haría esa pregunta. No, 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 lo que le iba a decir él. En inglés, una cosa bonita del inglés que respeta mucho el nombre propio. ¿Ya? Yeah. Entonces, por ejemplo, pupusa es pupusa. Yeah. Eh, pastelito es pastelito. Pero ya les voy a explicar cómo, ahí, pero de ahí, a raíz de eso, nacen más preguntas. Porque el, el español, lastimosamente, no respeta el nombre propio. Ustedes nunca han visto noticias que dicen el príncipe William y el príncipe Guillermo fueron a África. No, el príncipe Guillermo, sí, así digo. Él no se llama Guillermo, man. Guillermo no existe en Inglaterra. Él se llama William. Y la gente le, le, le dice Guillermo. El príncipe Carlos, él se llama Charles. ¿Me entienden? Entonces uh -huh. no, nosotros, uh -huh. ya, y es un poco mal educado en español de que lo hacemos a nuestro idioma. Y hay cosas que no. Entonces, en inglés, el, el, el nombre propio no lo cambian, porque si no, nosotros nos llamáramos The Savior en vez de El Salvador. <risa> yeah. The Savior. Ajá. Entonces, por ejemplo, si ustedes un día quieren decir fritada, ¿cómo se dice fritada en inglés? Fritada. El problema es cuando le dicen, what is fritada? Ah, oh, ahí sí se tienen que, que pero ahí, eh, el coco. Yo, uh -huh. pero eso yo lo hago ya con mis clases de TOEFL, de que les digo, where are you from, El Salvador? Good. What is a typical food in El Salvador? Pupusa. Oh, good. Simple. Pero cuando les digo, imagínate, yo soy de, de Taiwán y digo, ¿qué es pupusa? Ahí sí tienen que granearla uh -huh. para explicar es. Es, ajá. qué es. Mire, teacher, y por ejemplo, la torta mexicana, Mexican torta. No. Vale, le voy a dar un ejemplo. ¿Cómo? Que es un pan con pollo. Es un, Igual, ah, si usted, un pan si, con pollo. Si usted le dice es, a un esa... gringo... En inglés, en español, le dice, oh, in Christmas we eat chicken with bread. Mm -hmm. Literalmente, él visualmente se imagina el pollo y el pan. Mm -hmm. Pero si usted analiza bien, pan mm -hmm. con pollo es un sándwich. Mm -hmm. Lo único que usted... Le podría tiene... decir, the bread with chicken, with chicken and tomatoes and mix up ensalada. Yo diría más, mm, ah, yo diría más así, ah, it's good, pero yo diría más, what do you do in Christmas? Oh, I eat pan con pollo. What is pan con pollo? Oh, it's a Salvadorian chicken sandwich. Ok. okay. <laughs> es un sandwich, cualquier, cualquier cosa que va en medio de un pan mm -hmm. es un sandwich. Yeah. Ajá. Sandwich, for them it's a sandwich. Ahora, torta mexicana. Okay. Alguien es de San Miguel acá. But I am not agreeing with uh, that explanation because sandwich is in English. Sería en español empaderado. Empaderado. Mm -hmm. Empaderado. Eh, sí. Ah, bueno, sí, verdad. Pero sí, no, porque fíjese, usted sabe la historia empaderado. del sandwich. Usted sabe la historia del sandwich. Una vez creo que la escuché, perdón. Era, I don't un, remember. era un duque y así, así era el apellido del sándwich. Los duques de Hazard. Uh -huh. sí. No, era un duque eh, y él, él era adicto a juegos de mesa como 
cartas, dominos y todo. Entonces una vez había invitado, estaban todos sus amigos, era hora de comer y estaban en lo mejor del juego. Y le dijo al mayordomo, mira, vamos a comer aquí. Oh, pero señor, ¿y qué, qué van a comer? Porque la realeza tiene que comer especial y no sé qué. Y él dijo, oh, agarra pan y ponerle el pollo, jamón en medio y queso y traerlo acá. Y se lo llevaron a todos. A todos les pareció la idea. Y qué rico está eso. Y le pusieron sándwich. Porque así se llama. Es un apellido. En honor a él. En honor a él. Ajá. Entonces. <risa> ya. Yeah. Ah, pero sí. Hay, hay una palabra. Eso es un en, emparedado. Ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. Pero entonces. A lo que le iba a decir. Cuando es. Por ejemplo. Alguien de aquí es de San Miguel. Okay. Nobody said nothing. No. Le digo porque yo cuando fui a San Miguel andaba buscando los famosos panes migueleños. ¿Ya han, ya han probado los panes migueleños? I never. No. Pero lo han visto. No. No. Pero han visto, ¿verdad? Panes migueleños. Yes. Ah, bueno, yes. En, en San Miguel son panes. Así se llaman, solo son panes. Entonces, es lo que hay escenas. Usted me dijo una torta mexicana. Creo que en México no se llaman torta mexicana, solo se llaman tortas. Entonces, si usted quiere, solo diga el nombre propio. How often do you eat eh, tortas mexicanas? Para nosotros, tortas mexicanas, pero how often do you eat tortas? How often do you eat pupusas? Ahí, si alguien ya le pregunta, ¿what es pupusas? Ahí sí lo siento, le tienen que explicar. What is, how often. Vaya, pero por ejemplo, usted dijo yuca frita, ¿verdad? Right? Uh -huh. Ahí sí, porque yuca tiene un nombre y frita tiene un nombre. Ahí sí se puede decir porque es un nombre formal. Y el nombre de yuca es yaca. Yaca. Se oye raro, yaca. Yaca fry. Fried fry yaca. Fried yaca. Fried yaca. Fried yaca. Uh -huh. Ok, miren, eh, les iba a decir algo. Eh, he estado viendo casi en todos los grupos, hoy el mismo, eh, vi el mismo error que estamos haciendo. Si no escuchamos bien la pregunta, créanme que no vamos a, no vamos a responder bien. Entonces, eh, tenemos que oír mucho qué es el he y el she, qué están preguntando, porque yo ya quiero pasar al siguiente, ya no quiero estar haciendo más frequency adverbs. Pero, y el problema no creo que es frequency adverbs, porque yo sé que lo entienden, yo sé que saben que es always, never, sometimes. Es que yo creo, teacher, que es la confianza, fe, porque a mí, o sea, sí me cuesta, me da como algo de penita si hablo bien o hablo mal, pero sí entiendo. Pero okay. como que la confianza. Ok, it's okay. Mi caso. No, ok, lo que vamos a hacer mañana, rapidito, les voy a enseñar bien, bien, bien los tiempos simples. Okay. Futuro simple, presente simple, pasado simple. ¿Cómo hacer preguntas y respuestas? Ok. Eh, porque en eso, ese fue el mayor error que yo vi hoy. Ok. Y... Y no, es, no es, está bien, no es problema. Eh, me, me sintiera raro que todo, todo lo hubieran hecho perfecto. Estuviera, mmm, ya necesito irme a otro nivel. Pero no. Eh, pero sí necesitamos saber y escuchar más que todo el listening. Ok, entonces mañana sí, les prometo que todos vamos a entender bien cómo hacer las preguntas y respuestas antes de seguir al siguiente tema. Ok, teacher. Ok. okay. Okay, I see you. Okay. Good evening. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Bye bye. Good night, everyone. Bye. Bye.